Okay, we're going to be programming the Honeywell 8000 for uh, low speed dehumidifying. Here I got my uh, number here for my code to get into my uh, user mode. If you don't have one posted there, open up the back of your panel. And usually you'll see it, a little sticker on there somewhere on this back panel. I've taken mine off and put it on the front for, I would always see it. Wait for the system to update and then I'll be able to get back to it. All right, so now we're gonna hit our menu button here. We're gonna go down to settings. Installer options, select. Now enter your password. Like I said, mine's right here. So we're gonna enter one, then hit over. Go to the six, over, three, two, yours may be the same, yours may be different. You're such a pain. And hit done. And you want installer setup. Now it's gonna go through all the listings of everything. Right now we're at application. You're just gonna hit the up and down buttons here to go through it. If you hit down, it's gonna sit there and uh, change what was highlighted. Now it says commercial from uh, residential. So we wanna stay with the residential. So what we're gonna do is just keep hitting next until you see uh, the right option. Let me get to it. Alright, so you're going to get to dehumidify equipment. You want AC with low fan, you got AC with high fan, and you got dehumidifier and none. So you want AC with low fan. Next. Then it says dehumidifying wiring, and it says T-STAT terminal U1. And that's what you're going to want is that one right there. So remember in the other video, we told you that U1 is the wire you're going to hook up uh, your system to and terminal U1 normally open or the other one is normally closed um, you're gonna want that normally open because what that means is that there is gonna be no uh, connection between the U1 and the U2 block uh, so when it calls for low speed dehumidification it's going to close that and then it's going to pass power from the U1 terminal to the U2 terminal to create our uh, power loop. So normally open is what you want on that. Uh, dehumidify over cooling limit, 3% is decent. Uh, dehumidify away mode, that's up to you, I say not allowed. And then you got some other little things about ventilation and stuff. After that, you're pretty much done. So you can sit there and hit your done. And then say, yes, you want to exit setup. And then you can go back to home. Now, what that happens now, when you sit there and you do that, when it goes into dehumidification mode, it's going to sit there and close that circuit between U1 and U2. And it's going to pass um, your uh, high volt, uh, your low voltage from the red to it. I'm going to open up the system here. I don't have it done because I have an apartment and I can't do it here because I don't have all the features. But you're going to find one of your spare colored wires that you have in the back. And you're going to sit there and connect it to your U1 terminal here. Uh, after you've done that, you're going to need a little itty bitty wire, a little jumper wire. And you're going to go from either RC or R because it should already have a jumper already in it. Should already have a jumper, so you're just gonna make another jumper that's gonna go from this red all the way down to U2. So now you're gonna have a jumper wire between R and RC and RC and U2. That way it gives it that red power. And then like I said, your uh, wire going back to your uh, air handler is on the U1. And on the other video, it talks about where to hook up that U1 wire in the air handler. I hope that's helped out. Let me know if you need anything. Give me a comments, thumbings, and likes. See ya.